Amid fears of a possible twin demic, tonight in Solano County, the health department is reporting the county's first patient with both the flu and COVID-19. KPI X5's Andrea Nakano joins us now from Fairfield with a warning tonight from health officials. Andrea? Yeah, Liz, the Solano County Public Health Officer, Dr. Bella Matias, telling me tonight that the person infected with both is under the age of 65 and is in fairly good health. This person works in the health care sector, but that's not where Dr. Matias believes the transmission occurred. This is basically a, a warning to us that we now have flu in our community as well as COVID. The first case of co-infection has occurred in Solano County, and health officer Dr. Bella Matias believes it happened because the patient didn't follow proper social distancing guidelines. Well, this person, to the best of our knowledge, did not acquire it in the workplace. They, they did what so many other people um, all over the country are doing. They get together with family and friends and let the guard down. According to Dr. Matias, that's how more than 90% of the COVID infections are occurring in Solano County. And those gatherings have put the county on the brink of falling back into the purple tier for widespread risk. Obviously, we're not telling people not to get together with family and friends. What we're suggesting is when you do, use common sense and take responsibility for your actions. Don't go to a gathering if you're sick. Some Fairfield residents say it was only a matter of time until the flu and COVID started circulating in the community. I knew the flu was coming. But it's all over anyways. It's all yeah. over, period. It's always going to be here no matter what. As the peak flu season approaches, doctors are urging people to get the vaccine to reduce the risk of becoming seriously ill. <laughs> Since some of the symptoms of the flu and COVID mirror each other, Dr. Matias says quarantine until you know what you have. The recommendation is that if you have symptoms, don't go to work, don't go to events, get tested first so that you know that what you have is not going to harm other people. Solano County should know if it's going to fall into that more restrictive purple tier by next Tuesday. Reporting live in Fairfield, Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5.